in this interaction both where the decision is taken by the self transacting instruction from the self to the body or reading sensation from the body to the self in both the cases the decision is taken by the self so with this background now let's look at this step 4 and this four is very important okay and of course i would expect you not to make you know conclusions very fast we have to start observing it when we start observing and we keep working on it lot of these things will you know will be revealed to us okay so there is no hurry don't try to conclude immediately whatever you know we are working on so give time slowly things will become clear because we have whole lot of this condition preconditioning lot a whole lot of beliefs which we are carrying from past so many of these beliefs many of these you know preconditioning assumptions will slowly start getting evaluated you know when we are making this observation so uh, go slow but go firm you know keep working on it then lot of things will be revealed so in step 4 we are saying when i am reading the sensation taking place in the body let us ask this question to ourselves am i the sensation am i in the sensation am i at a distance from the sensation that is the question very simple question of course but very important question the sajee is it visible now this slide the sajee yes guru ji i can we can see it la ji yes, sir the four is visible now yes i have updated it so i just wanted to confirm yes 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 now uh, tell me is it clear what we have to do in step 4 So just ask this question to yourself when you are observing the sensation in the body, right? Are you the sensation? Are you in the sensation? Are you at a distance from the sensation? this is very important and very interesting in fact if you start observing you will slowly find that this sensation is taking place in almost all parts of the body right almost all parts of the body 
and if you start start observing with little finities even in any part of the body different kind of sensations are taking place you know in different places of that part of the body but interestingly i am not reading all those sensations i am only reading those sensation which i consider important or at any time i read one of the sensation right, by choice where is the sensation is taking place throughout the body so many sensations taking place so any small you know part of the body right the micro level and nano level if you start seeing every part of the body has some sensation and most of them seem to be different sensations and i am not seeing all of them i am seeing only those sensations which i consider important and most of the time i am not seeing any sensation at all because i am not you know finding it important to observe the sensation at that moment in any part of the body any big or small part of the body so i am reading the sensation by choice you know at a point in the body where i consider important so when there is a sensation of pain in any part of the body at the same time of course there are sensations which are not that of pain but when i you know observing the sensation of pain in some part of the body this is my decision this is my decision to read that particular sensation and not to read the other sensations in the body which are taking place simultaneously i am drawing this attention of yours towards this uh, basic reality because i want you to see that there are so many sensations taking place in the body right and i am not attached to any one of them right i decide to read one of them and by choice i read it so this question whether i am the sensation or not you know will become slowly clear to you right? that i am not the sensation because there are so many sensations taking place in the body and i am not reading all of them or i am not with all of them similarly i can see that i am not in the sensation i can read any part in sensation in any part of the body by choice right so if i want to read this sensation at the head you know of my body i can read it next moment if i take the decision to read the sensation at the tip of the toe i can read that sensation so thing that is required for me is to take the decision read this particular sensation or that particular sensation i have to read the sensation in this part of the body or that part of the body okay. so i can read the sensation in any part of the body or any you know small and you know very small part of the body by choice so these first two things that i am not the sensation and i am not in the sensation right? i can be at a distance from the sensation and wherever i am i can read the sensation in any part of the body by my choice now it is just a matter of my taking the decision but just don't take it you know start looking at it start working on it but this conclusion ultimately that will come is that i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation there is a distance between me and the sensation that is why i can make the choice 
if there was no distance between me and the sensation, I would have been hardwired, which I am not. So thousands and lakhs of sensations are taking place in the body, and I am not reading all of them. I am reading only those which I consider important, and that too I don't read them all the time, continuously. You know, from time to time I read the sensation. So if there is a pain in the body, it's not that I am totally involved with that pain or 24 hours, every second, every moment. Right. As an example, I was taking, if somebody comes to see me, right, I am busy talking to him. So I don't have my, you know, kind of uh, attention to, towards the pain. So that choice is always there with the self to read a particular sentence, sensation or not to read it particular sensation. So in that sense, yes, there is a distance between me and the sensation. And I have the choice all the time to read any of the sensation in any part of the body just by making the choice, just by making the decision to observe it. So I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am, you know, at a distance from the sensation. This, if I can see, then there is an important conclusion which I can draw, but don't hurry to draw that conclusion. When I can see that I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, I am at a distance from the sensation, I can read the sensation just by making a choice in any part of the body where a whole lot of sensation is taking place in the body, right? In different parts of the body. But I can make the choice to read one of the sensations which I consider important. It, so if I can see this, okay, that the sensation is there in the body. I am reading the sensation from the body without being physically connected to that sensation without being physically connected to that sensation. Right. This transaction of information of this sensation from the body to the self, we will see in step seven when we talk about, is in space and is through space. But that we will introduce in step seven. Presently, we just have to see that when I am observing the sensation, I am not hardwired connected to the sensation. I have the choice to read that sensation or read some other sensation taking place in another part of the body. Now, if I can see this, that there is a distance between me and the sensation, then I can see that there is a distance between me and the body. Because how do I know that the body is there by reading the sensation that we have seen right in the exercise? In, in step uh, two. So my, uh, um, step one is rather. So my uh, conclusion about the body came from observing the sensation of the body. And when I can see that my arm distance at a distance from the body, from the sensation taking place in the body, then I can also see that there is a distance between the self and the body. There is a distance between me and the body. Just keep this in mind, you know, you will be able to make this conclusion sometime. But till then, you know, don't take it as true. But just keep observing that there is a distance between me and the sensation. And I can read that sensation by choice. Or I can read any other sensation which is taking place in the body. That is number one. And that is number two is that there is a distance between the self and the body. Can I see this? Because this is one of the important conclusions. But don't hurry. Don't try to force yourself to see this. Okay, that there is a distance between the self and the body. If you are able to see that there is a distance between you and the imagination, right? The sensations. I mean, there, there is a distance between the self and this sensation that is taking place in the body and which is read by the self. 
you know, that is good enough. It will slowly help you to see that there is a distance between the self and the body. So this is what we have to work on, right? On step four, from now till tomorrow morning. Very important step because uh, uh, it will decide lot of your, you know, future kind of uh, uh, work and your state of being which is born out of this clarity that I am not the body, I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, I am at a distance from the sensation and therefore I have a choice to read the sensation or not to read the sensation. Right. So as and when I will consider it important, I will pay attention to this you know, sensation of the body and these are sensations. For the rest of the time, you know, I have this basic information which I have obtained through body. So whenever I have to consider something, I can consider on the basis of the information that we have got. So <clears throat> with that, let's work on the 